We celebrate a legend, director Mike Nichols, who has died at the age of 83, a singular talent, a singular human being, beloved by Hollywood's brightest stars and beloved by his family here at ABC. You will remember his movies. They made us laugh, they made us cry, they made us think. Mike Nichols had a mind that never stopped, always a thirst for what was next, just recently taking on a new project with Meryl Streep, just one of the many actors who always came back to work with Mike. You have shown us how a person can become essential. You're one of our era's essential artists, Mike. You're one of our essential people. Mike was known in Hollywood and on Broadway for his many gifts, among them getting actors to break through their own boundaries, perhaps because he was a performer himself. In his college years, teaming up with Elaine May, Nichols and May, as they were called. I feel awful. Oh, honey, if I could believe that, I'd be the happiest mother <laughs> His first movie, Behind the Lens, as director, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, starring Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, baby, aren't you something? Well, I've got to find some way to get at you. Richard Burton once sang of Nichols, I didn't think I could learn anything about comedy, but from him, I learned. Hello, darkness. Mike Nichols' next movie, The Graduate, and it was Mike who chose an unknown Dustin Hoffman to play an all-American boy coming of age. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> the winner is Mike Nichols. Nichols would win the Oscar. It's a picture made by a group, and we cared for what we were doing. So this award quite literally belongs to them, at least as much as it does to me. I'm grateful to them, and I'd also like to wish my mother a happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. He came to America at seven years old, his family escaping Nazi Germany. And it would be here he would explore so much of our American lives, championing the working class and working girl. I have a head for business and a bod for sin. Is there anything wrong with that? No. And there was the birdcage. You do fussy, fussy, fussy. You do Martha Graham, Martha Graham, Martha Graham. Hi, Mama. Postcards from the edge. You're beautiful. And closer. My favorite thing about Mike is that he is the most encouraging person that I have ever met. Everything about Mike makes everything about everything just better. Nichols was part of a rare group, able to say they'd won the Oscar, a Tony, an Emmy, and a Grammy. On Broadway, so many of his productions, Spamalot, and just two years ago, a Tony for the revival of Death of a Salesman. And the Tony Award goes to Mike Nichols for Arthur Miller's Death of a Salesman. Sharing that moment with Diane before telling millions watching. Um, you see before you a happy man. Happiest, Mike often said, when surrounded by his family, his children, Daisy, Max, and Jenny, his grandchildren, and the woman he married in 1988. He said, over and over, I was luckier than I had any right to be. I found the love of my life. And we all knew here that he and Diane reveled in the joy of being grandparents. Love, family, food, movies, the night moon, the night stars. I'll see you on the set, in the beach, and in the kitchen, and at the movies. And tomorrow night, the lights on Broadway will go dark to honor the legendary director and later hear what Diane once said about meeting the man who would become her best friend. And I should let you all know that she spent this day surrounded by family.